boobs. They nurture our baby bodies, enchant us in the bedroom, and are an integral part of a woman's health. And just like snowflakes, each pair of melons is unique, coming in all shapes and sizes. But what determines what our breastuses look like anyway? Like a beautiful booby symphony, there are a number of different factors that come together in harmony to create your breast. The factor with arguably the biggest impact is genes. Just like you have the same hair or height as your parents, your breast size is also a genetic trait that was passed down by your family and ancestors. If your mom or grandma had a pretty big bust, chances are you will too. Yes, this also means that if they were members of the itty bitty titty committee, you also might be a member. However, sometimes these genetic traits skip a generation. Plus, your sister might be a completely different size than you. And that's okay too. Genes just happen to be a breast size factor you can't control. Luckily, you have some say about the other ones. For instance, take your age. Remember a time when you used to daydream about having any kind of boobs at all? And then that little thing called puberty happened and BAM! Boobs appear? Your age plays a role in breast size both during and after you've blossomed into a mature lady. Once you start getting up in years, gravity takes hold of your precious bosom and slowly starts to pull them toward the ground. This, plus a loss of skin elasticity over time, can definitely change what size you are. Some people believe that sleeping with a non-underwire bra can help curb the sagging, but the jury is still out on that being a scientifically proven fact. Another thing that changes with puberty and living an adult life is your weight. Let's get anatomical for a second. Your luscious mammaries are comprised of three kinds of tissues. Glandular tissue, which produces and funnels milk. Fibrous tissue, aka supportive or connective tissue, which holds the breast in place. And fatty tissue, which fills in the spaces between the glandular and fibrous tissue and largely determines your breast size. Whatever the ratio is between these three kinds of tissues varies from lady to lady. If you happen to have breasts with a higher ratio of fatty tissue, then you might notice your boobs getting smaller if you're trying to lose weight with lots of cardio. This could be especially annoying if you were really hoping to slim down your waist or thighs and not your chest. But don't go cursing your biology just yet. Even though we are living in the new millennium, our bodies sometimes think dinosaurs are still living outside and therefore reacts instinctually. This means that when you're trying to lose weight, your body is going to rid itself of the most expendable fat first, and sometimes that fat just happens to be in your boobies. A good way to counteract any size loss is by strapping on your favorite sports bra and getting some strength training in. While your tatas are not muscles themselves, the pectoral muscles that sit directly behind your tatas can be strengthened with push-ups, pull-ups, and planks, leading to perkier breasts. Technically, you're not changing the physical size of the breast, but building up your pecs can definitely make them appear bigger. Plus, you'll be stronger, which is always cute. This brings us to another big breast size factor, hormones. When we introduce hormones like progesterone into our bodies with birth control, changes are bound to happen especially when you first start taking it. A new kind of birth control can affect how much water you retain. If you happen to be a lucky lady with more of those fatty tissues in your breasts, then you might have noticed this happening to you more than others. But when it comes to hormones, there's nothing like getting pregnant to really get them raging. We've all heard stories of women growing one, two, or even three cup sizes during and after pregnancy. And that's because your body once again goes into animal instinct mode. It prepares to feed your newborn by swelling those mammaries up with fat and milk. Once your baby sucks all the milk out, your boobs might go back to their original size. Or surprise, they might not. It's kind of a toss up with this one. Might wanna ask your mom or grandma what happened to their boobs because it'll be a good indicator of what you should expect once you're done nursing. Boobs are magical. There's no doubt about that. No matter what size or shape yours are, they are always worth celebrating. So show your boobs some love by giving yourself a big hug today. Ah, oh, that feels nice. 